When we think of activities that we can do to keep our bodies healthy, one of the first things that comes to mind is physical activity. We all understand and recognize that by being physically active, we can become healthier and improve our muscle strength and endurance. It is less common to think of doing exercises for our brain and cognitive functions. In the same way that we can lift weights to improve our upper body strength, we can perform brain exercises to improve our attention, working memory, executive functions, and other cognitive abilities. Most cognitive training programs are completed using a computer, tablet, or smartphone. Similar to the importance of performing physical exercises with the right weight and number of repetitions, cognitive training also has to be specific and adaptable to your individual skill level. This ensures that the program is benefiting your brain in ways that applies to your lifestyle and purpose of training. With the rapid development of new cognitive technologies and applications for many different populations, it should come as no surprise that there are very different approaches being taken to train cognitive systems. In this video, we will take you through the three main questions to ask before embarking on a training program. Number one, who was the training designed for? This is the first important question you should ask when choosing a cognitive training platform. There are many reasons you may want to start cognitive training, for example, to enhance your cognitive abilities through active aging, for rehabilitative purposes following an injury, or perhaps to improve and maximize your cognitive performance for school and your occupation. For this reason, you want to ensure that the research on the program is applicable for your training goals. Let's say you are looking to improve your cognitive performance in school, but when you review the research on the technology, most of the studies have been completed with older adults in age-related cognitive decline. If this is the case, it may not be the right program for you. Number two, how long does it take for the training to work? The next important question to ask is, how long will it take for the training to be effective? As mentioned in the beginning of the video, there are a wide range of cognitive training platforms, and many of them have vastly different ways of training the brain. Studies generally show that it can take upwards of 30 to 50 hours of distributed training to see benefits. And even then, they can be modest or negligible. Before you begin a training program, Look for information on how long you can expect before you begin to see results. Number three, what are the expected benefits and how do they apply to real world applications? Last, but certainly not least, you'll want to understand what benefits you can expect from committing to a cognitive training program. More importantly, it's important to know if the benefits have been shown to transfer to real life activities. In research, this is known as FAR transfer. With a few notable exceptions, research studies to date tend to support transfer to tasks that are structurally very similar to the actual training tasks. For example, transfer is often related to working memory tests that are not actually that different to the cognitive training tasks themselves. This can make it very difficult to interpret what the real-world benefits are. When you're reviewing a new cognitive training platform, looking for evidence of FAR transfer will be beneficial in understanding how the benefits may apply to you. This information is typically found on the company website and shows evidence that the training has resulted in benefits that have direct relevance to things like academics, sports, injury rehabilitation, or other lifestyle activities. You might be wondering how NeuroTracker applies to these three questions and who can benefit from training. If so, stick around for our next video, where we educate on why you should consider NeuroTracker as your cognitive training platform.